about 30 million trees are cut down every year. There's a possibility of this being implemented and saving a good portion of those. In addition, the revenue generated from that charcoal is $260 million. That's an awful lot for a country of Haiti with a population of 8 million and an average income of less than $400. So this is where we're also um, moving ahead with our charcoal project. And one of the things that I think is also interesting is I have a, a friend up at UC Berkeley who has been doing risk analysis. And he's looked at the problem of the, the health impacts of burning wood versus charcoal. And he's found that worldwide, you could prevent a million deaths switching from wood to charcoal as a cooking fuel. That's remarkable, but up until now, there weren't ways to do it without cutting down trees. But now we have a way that's using an agricultural waste material to create a cooking fuel. One of the really exciting things, though, is something that came out of the trip that I took to Ghana just last month. And this is, I think, the, well, I think it's the coolest thing, and it's even lower tech than what you just saw, if you can imagine such a thing. Here it is. So what is this? Uh, this is corn cobs turned into charcoal. And the beauty of this is that you don't need to form briquette. It comes ready made. This is my $100 laptop right here. And uh, actually, like Nick, I brought samples. Uh, <laughs> so we can pass these around. They're fully functional, field tested, ready to roll out. <laughs>